Hello there, fellow Star Wars fans and collectors. This is MG Villain. <laughs> It's not really, it's only one Kenobi. Only one. How are you doing? I'm sorry, uh, that rubbish impression there. Manny, I hope you don't mind me doing impressions of you, bro. I love you really, man. And this uh, video is for you, I suppose, and for anyone else who is interested in restoration card backs. Now you see them, and now you don't. Now this is, um, as you know, from my channel, I've got a load of vintage collection figures. That are on the wall behind me when I do reviews, and these aren't them. These are a separate collection I've got that I did last year that I wanted to show you. Now you see them. <laughs> uh, and basically, well, I don't know. It's it's a long story, really, or is it? I don't know. Here's the story about how I started doing these. A friend of mine, a good friend of mine, Matty, he, um, well, he knows I'm a collector, and I had a very large, loose collection of... The modern figures, you know, the super articulated plus. I've got some stuff from the Power of the Force, not many. I've got a lot of the Phantom Menace line. Then onwards, you know, the stuff in the 2000s, Power of the Jedi, that was the sort of scaling, they got it right by then. And then 2008 onwards, in my opinion, is, you know, that's, that's like top quality stuff, you know. Screen accuracy coming out of its ears, you know, but... And that's it. And then obviously the carded collection, my vintage collection, is the only sort of stuff I keep carded and I love that collection. And I will do a separate video and I'll show you everything that I've got there. But my friend Matty, he said to me, he said, uh, what, you know, what about the vintage line? He said, you know, in his little voice. Yeah. <laughs> that's an impression of him. I do impressions of everybody. Anyway, he said um, about these vintage figures and I, I kind of said to him, well, I'm not really that interested in having them loose because I mean, I've seen better the only reason I'd get them is for nostalgia purposes. I wasn't interested in, in getting figures from the original line and having them loose because I didn't think they looked that good. Um, the articulation is not that great. And the sculpting, the screen accuracy is nowhere near as good as, say, the Legacy Collection or 2008 figures on, uh, and, and after that period. However, when I discovered a fellow on eBay called Restore Nation. He, I think he's based in Spain. I don't know if he's Spanish or English and lives out there. But he uh, has not a bad little service whereby... Oh, that one's not straight. Whoop, let's pop it back on there. He has a nice little service whereby you can buy a car back and a bubble. He even has an adhesive that you can... For, for a little bit extra, he will put the adhesive on for you. And then you can remove the, the adhesive strip to make it sticky and then place it onto your car back when you are ready. Um, it's a little bit cheaper to buy his cards without the adhesive strip. So in most cases I've bought them without the adhesive and I've used super glue or used my own sticky back adhesive to, to put the bubble onto the card with the figure inside. But it's not a bad job. What he does is really good. I'll be honest, it doesn't look as, you know, pure and clean and sh glossy as what you get when Hasbro slash Kenner are printing card backs, but I tell you what, it does the job, doesn't it? And it saves splashing out on thousands and tens of thousands of pounds in some cases to get certain figures. I mean, like, like this fella, for example, a vinyl Cape Jawa. It's apparently one of the most expensive figures that you can get, well, in its original form, if you own one of them in mint condition. So there you go. It got me interested in getting the original line because none of these figures that you see here are ones I owned as a kid. These are ones I got last year in 2016 on eBay. And I'll be honest, a lot of them I got for a decent price as well. If you look around, you can get some good deals and the conditions are excellent in some cases. Um, but all these figures, as far as the figures I owned when I was a kid, it's emb I'm embarrassed to say, I mean, none of them, I don't have any now. I think I have a headless Nikto up in my roof somewhere and then that is it. I don't know if that's because I was so young and when you play with them, they all get bashed and lost and battered and buried in the garden. But, uh, so I can't say that any of these figures are, are my own. They are ones that were owned by somebody else, but in decent nick. And in most cases, I put a little bit of paint on a few of them just to touch them up. But actually, all the ones you see here anyway are ones that I did have. Not the figure itself, but I actually had that figure, if you know what I mean. I'll go through them all in a moment. Now I'm going through them now actually. Um, all except, let me just go back to this last line. I owned him, I had him, 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 and him, but I didn't have a TIE Fighter unfortunately. That's just one of the ones I didn't have. But I'll keep going through them now. Fantastic I suppose, but they just look better on card backs f f personally. I'm a big fan of the card backs. 
uh, the packaging of the vintage sort of style, and that's why I am a uh, well, the vintage collection that you see behind me in all my other videos. That's why I'm a big fan of that. Uh, here's another one I didn't have as a kid as well, the Jawa, and I didn't have Leia Bespin either. No, Echo Base, sorry. All right, G88, but I had all these others here, as you see. Um, what else? And I didn't have him. I never had a Bespin Han nor R5D4. But I do now, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And I did have a 3PO, but I think he was on a different car back because he came with the, uh, what you call it now, the Chewbacca sack, or whatever that he carries him on his back, his back, the backpack thing. And there you go, all these others I used to own. But God, it makes you think to yourself, what the hell happened to them? I mean, it's so long ago, I, was, I must have been about, what was it, 1985 onwards to, 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 to before the 90s happened. These just must have all just been lost and lost their heads, broken limbs off, just thrown away. I wanted to talk to you about this nine num here because I, I, I can tell you 100% that I own three of him loose. Three, and I opened all three of them. You can't even army build nine num because there's only one nine num. So it goes, to ta it goes to show you that probably back in the day, nine num was probably a peg warmer. And... I think that I got bought one by family members and then like, um, like I think my nan bought me one or something as well because she must have seen it cheap so I had one off her. So it just shows you that as a kid, you don't know the value of them when they get older, when, when, you know, as years go by. It, you just almost want to go back in time and tap your younger self on the shoulder and say, hey, don't, don't open it. Put it away, put it in a box, open it in 20 years, 30 years and get some, get some cash back, you know. But, um... It just goes to show, I was so young as a kid, I just probably saw, yay, another 9 num and opened him, and then he's loose, and he's out of the packaging. But anyway, whatever happened as kids, we all remember this packaging, and, and, I, and I personally, I for one, love it. And it's finally buying off this fella in Spain, Restore Nation, who does these res restore kits. It's an excuse to sort of have them all in their full glory on a card back, because that's where they look best, I believe, these old figures. I don't think they look that good loose. They do look good on a card back. So I can't say that they are 100% original, because they're not. The figures are original, but the card backs are just print-offs. So, <laughs> but I tell you what, it does the job, doesn't it, in your home. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.